Okay. So again, a uh, very warm, warm welcome to everyone, all the friends today. And um, I'm, I'm actually excited because I'm getting to do such session after a long time. Um, and, uh, you know, this subject that we are going to talk today, I really appreciate people joining for it because um, I feel we, uh, we need to be courageous <laughs> to uh, learn these subjects also. And all friends here, uh, they are courageous and they are taking a step forward to, um, to truth, to, to, to their divine nature. And that's so important to be courageous. So I want to start by saying that. So I've prepared a little presentation for all of you today. I will be sharing the screen and we'll go from there. Um, and um, before uh, you know, uh, we, we go into the session, I would like to say that um, we are going to take all the question answer at the end. We are going to have a question answer round. Okay. And um, during the session, if you have question, you can you know just keep uh, typing, right? Uh, but probably I won't be able to answer because uh, I would be in, in some other topic, right? So if it's related, I, I will try to answer. Otherwise, I'm going to answer everyone at the end, All right? And um, if possible, keep a pen and a paper ready because you're going to learn something really beautiful, something um, that I have learned in my life. Uh, and um, I think I'm going to treasure this learning my entire life. Uh, you know, it is, uh, it has helped my own mother. Uh, it has helped my sister and so many people, right? So I, um, I'm very thankful that I was able to uh, know this wisdom, right? Uh, you know, uh, like my mentor says, knowledge, education, the true knowledge only can liberate us from our uh, misery. So we are ignorant and true wisdom can liberate us. And when we get true wisdom, it is a great blessing. Not everybody <laughs> received that, right? When we are receiving it, it's a, a great blessing. So friends, um, I'm going to start uh, my, today's session with... Um, with a um, story. Everybody likes story, right? I have a small story to share something that happened today. Um, I was outside and many times what I do is I take my laptop, everything outside and I work uh, sitting in the mid middle of the jungle, uh, you know, surrounded by uh, animals and plants. And suddenly uh, I was lying down taking some rest and uh, there appeared a huge monkey. And he straight away came to me and I opened my eyes and I could see the red face. <laughs> and it, uh, the first reaction in my body was like, uh, you know, I, I was in such relaxed state. And in, from my mouth, I, you know, I'm a Bengali. So I said something in Bengali, like, I'm really scared, don't come near me. <laughs> That's what I said, the first thing. Um, and this monkey is, uh, he understood that uh, I'm not comfortable, him coming very near me. And uh, he's so gentle, he immediately stepped back and he sat there like a very old, aged, wise person. He sat there and he, throughout, he was sitting with me. When I was eating, I, I, I took one bread for me and I gave one sandwich for him. Whatever I ate and he took it with, you know, like respect, like a lot of respect. And this beautiful, uh, you know, I would say a soul that I was seeing was so amazing. It was so soothing to have this amazing soul. Initially, I, I was a little not hesitant. You know, I got a little hesitant like, oh, there's a monkey <laughs> but uh, he sat with me and uh, throughout when I was there, he was so gentle. I lost all my fear and he was there with me throughout and such a gentle person, you know, like 
most of the time he was sitting closed eyes and hands like this, like he's meditating. <laughs> I felt he's like some Rishi. He came to me. Why I want to share this, friends? I could experience this very deep feminine quality in this monkey. Close to nature, pure, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, pure love. And he's just there sitting and resting and he wants to meditate like with me and he, somewhere he's telling, relax, it's, it's the mother nature, connect to the nature. So this is the feminine energy, though he, he's a male monkey, you know, he's a male monkey, but so much feminine motherly affection. Sitting uh, quietly, uh, like a like a uh, calm tree and as if so much love is flowing from him that's i experienced today and i wanted to share this with you right so friends this is the feminine energy of the mother earth and every one of us have this inside us the yin energy and souls who have incarnated as women, they are very close to this divine energy, very close to nature. Because it's their nature to be connected to the divine. But these days, there is a, like a fight, you know, like uh, this generation and many years, it has been like, there's a fight between the gender going on, friends. It's uh, like uh, we, the men are getting more, I won't call it like a divine masculinity. I call it a toxic masculinity. Too much getting into the left brain, too much logical. And women says we are no less. And they have, women also have started operating from the mind. And uh, they have forgotten their essence. They have forgotten to connect to their womb. Right, the womb is has a direct connection to the earth, Mother Earth. Uh, it is said that men, women are equal. I don't believe that. I think men, women are unique. There is no comparison. Women are masters in the spiritual realm. They are they are the masters. They are very close in the spiritual realm, and they can they can guide men. They can guide children. They can guide the earth. And men, you know, they, they are masters in the physical realm. They are, they can create physically, you know, they have that, they can create it. Right? I'm not saying women cannot do it or, you know, again, you know, that war starts. But what I'm saying, that's the innate nature. We, uh, women are incarnated with, they, they have that I mean, if, if, they, if they identify with the feminine self, because most often when I would be working with female and I connect them to the womb, they have a lot of pain, a lot of emotions there. It's an undealt, unknown um, place for many women. And it, it's sad because uh, that intuitiveness is lost. So it says it's very hard to get love these days. Because it's all men all around, right? It's all masculine energy all around. The feminine energy has no place, right? Women, uh, uh, possibly they are not feeling safe to connect to their um, deep, deep uh, femininity, their, their womb, right? So the essence is lost. And uh, this session is one of the intention to uh, you know, bring our awareness back into the feminine self, how, how beautiful, how important it is and um, how we, we can uh, enhance this, enhance this self. The, if if uh, anybody here resonates because gender is uh, uh, diverse and I don't want to go into uh, any, any kind of conflict saying you know gender is this and that everybody's gender is very unique 
but we all have this feminine quality and and women who are um resonating with saying this yes i am a woman they uh, need to go back into their origin into the womb because womb is a portal it's a portal where uh, you know it, it can uh, take them into very high sp spiritual uh, planes and uh, when she goes she takes uh, the children the family along with her right so friends this is the workshop flow uh, we are going to uh, talk about the history of yoni egg the benefits of yoni egg types of yoni egg how to choose emotion pregnancy sexual trauma and yoni eggs single and dual cultivation uh, with yoni eggs right and practical exercise we will do a practical exercise today and then i have a opportunity at the end uh, people who want to take this forward they can choose this uh, opportunity okay let me see everybody can hear me great okay so friends <clears throat> there are some friends here um who uh, may not know me uh, right some some new friends so if i have your permission i'll just share about myself in like uh, very brief maybe 2 3 minutes can i do that yeah just uh, to have a quick uh introduction about myself many of you know but just a little okay so um yeah th thank you for that so i am aditya datta i i am a it professional turned into a pelvic floor coach now uh, this did not happen like overnight uh, i was working with microsoft and then uh, i had my own struggle i had to um, uh, go through a like a major bottom surgery right so i faced faced this problem of uh, poor pelvic health right my lower body was weak i had poor self image health issues addiction bad relationship you name it right because um, when our uh, lower body is not strong we don't have like deep roots it's a it's a tree without good roots right so what will happen is it will affect the entire body so that was happening to me and that was the reason i had to uh, research i had to look for um uh, wh what is the solution because the medical field does not have solution friends when we whenever we are going for um any kind of external things like we want to boost our energy we take some coffee or maybe some drink or um you know uh, sometimes we are doing some uh, surgeries to enhance ourselves these are secondary you know these are not our basic life force these are secondary forces right and um they eventually they will die off if we don't ignite the life force right so that was happening to me and um, um so i was going through all these ancient practices uh, like uh, you know tantra the vigyan bhairava uh, tantra and uh, buddhist tantra right shamanism i was studying Um, you know from uh, i studied with osho for like 2 years in uh, the pune ashram and um, the Egypt, egyptian text to understand how can i have better pelvic health how can i have um, how can i heal my sexuality right so this was my search and that's how i come across uh, with th these various studies right but uh, i was very amazed uh, like i was like very um uh because you know when i started working on myself i also uh, started sharing with other people and especially when women they used to come and they used to say what are the practices i could not give them any practice because none of the books they were uh, uh, focusing on women practice right everybody is men practice men do this men do that uh, semen retention no fap and uh, you know you do this exercise and do that and oh nothing for women nothing for women so i was looking for an answer because this is very interesting you know this this search for me was uh, even i thought okay maybe there is no exercise for women right but then uh, when i started uh, like uh, when this question arose and i started uh, learning the taoist uh, practice 
then I discovered this yoni egg practice with them. Now, friends, I would like to first clarify, Taoism is not a religion. It is called a way of life. So what happened was long, long back, like uh, many, many thousand years back, uh, some men who, who loved to stay with nature, you know, they were holy men. They wanted to stay with nature and they stayed in nature and they watched nature closely. And when they watched nature closely, they were going into meditation. They were learning from nature. They were talking to trees and plants and the stars and everything. And they looked inside, right? They looked inside and they could see the organs. They could see, oh, they, so those times we didn't have x-rays or any way to see organs, but those people saw organs and they said, oh, this organ holds this kind of emotion. This organ holds that kind of emotion, right? And what can be done to release these emotions? So this was the practice of these people. And now again, of course, there are few people who uh, says, now Taoism also have many branches. Now they, there are uh, uh, religion also, but the branch that I am talking about, it is no religion. So it's coming directly from the nature, from the uh, uh, nature forces, right? And we, when we connect to them, when we remember them, it energizes us. It helps us to cleanse emotions. It helps to uh, detoxify our, our cells, right? So in the Taoist, uh, you know, when I was reading Inner Alchemy to uh, understand sexuality deeper, I came across this yoni egg practice. And uh, I met women, they were practicing for many years. Like I, I have some friends who have been practicing for like more than 15 years, right? And they said, it's the most amazing practice for women. And I, I, I interviewed them, I questioned them about various things. And it's like a firsthand uh, information, you can say, you know, it's not some like bookish and they really say, yeah, you know, this is so beautiful and every woman should know about this practice, right? So um, the three benefits, what, why we are talking uh, about the yoni egg. Uh, so it is for your self-healing. First, you understand that it is, it will increase your energy and you can, uh, you know, store energy, you, you learn to store energy in your lower part of the body, you will, you will get less sick. That's the first thing, right? It will enhance femininity. So it will, what is femininity? The creative power, the intuitive power. Women stopped believing, believing in their intuition. Yeah, you know, logic, logic can take 10 years to solve one problem. Like they will say A, A plus B plus whole square and this and that, they will form big equations and they will come to a conclusion maybe for 10 years. But one intuition can like bring this answer in a flash. And women are capable of that. They don't need to go through all this logical step-by-step, -step, uh, you know, uh, thing. So the, the, the feminine aspect, and it's, it's also for men. Also, from there are so many men. I appreciate men joining today's workshop because um, you know, you you care, you care for your women, you care for the feminine. So thank you for being here. This is so important for having more and more men who care for the feminine, right? So, and improve sexual stamina. Now, it it doesn't mean sexual stamina is a meaning that you need to be uh, intimate with someone, but. This improving sexual stamina also means that you have uh, a, a more pleasure in your own body. You, you are enjoying your energies more, right? So many ma women whom I would be meeting, they uh, have never had orgasms. They don't know about it. Many women, they are numb about sexuality. They don't want to talk about it, right? So th there are so many reasons why it happens and everybody I think need to look back and see because sexuality is important for everyone, right? Not again, uh, let me specify, not for sex, right? But for your overall health, for abundance, for creativity, for your spiritual development. If this is blocked, then how can we move forward, right? So it's like we are, you know, we are all living above the neck, above the heart here. We're not living here fully, right? So 
uh, you would be all knowing, right? The PC muscle, the pelvic floor muscle. And I'm, I'm going to talk about a little anatomy here to understand this better. Now, the PC muscle for, for women, they need extra attention. Why? Because first it holds more organ than men, right? They have the uterus and it, it's like really heavy. And if they are planning for a baby or they have a baby, it has a lot of weight, right? It has a lot of weight. So it's like an elastic holding a lot of weight. And not only the PC muscle, friends. I'm going to introduce another concept here. And, um, um, you know, it, it is very important. It's called the psoas muscle. Now, psoas muscle is this muscle that, you know, it, it's like the structure that holds the PC muscle also. So the psoas muscle starts from here and it holds the PC muscle together. And we don't move this muscle at all. It's, it's very hard. Actually, to train this muscle is very hard, right? We don't do any kind of movement to train this, right? You see the dog uh, wags the tail. <laughs> Actually, they are moving a lot of these area. They, they have a lot of sensei. And I would again specify, it's not the physical movement also. It's learning to energetically take, you know, let's uh, taking the energy upward like a pump. Now I found this picture and, you know, it is showing like the, 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 the vertebrae, if you see these columns, these take the spinal fluid up. So it, it, they're, they're like mini pumps there. And pumping, pumping, they take the spinal fluid up and then the spinal, spinal fluid comes down, right? So this pumping, especially this one, you know, the psoas muscle I, I was showing you is so important, friends, to work with this psoas muscle and this becomes so rigid. And later we walk like this at this in our old age, like it, it stops moving at all. It's like, it become like, stiff and we have lower back pain um you know uh, other issues menstrual problems emotional turmoil we are going to talk about this so these health problems right so urine leakage like uh, you know i i think 35 40 is an age every person needs to be very concerned about the pelvic muscle because we start these pelvic muscles start weakening from this age. So we have to take extra care. Everyone in this age range uh, need to take care after 30, 35, 40, right? right? This, this age span. Because uh, I, I work with people and they say it's, it's difficult to hold the urine, right? Constipation is there. So if it's too tight, there will be constipation. If it's loose, then there is a loss of urine. This is one of the things. Many women that I work, they would report this thing at, at around this age, right? And uh, PC muscle, we know uh, that if it's tight, the skin is tight, you look good, right? If it's loose, you start, the skin starts, you get, starts getting wrinkled. You, you start getting aged very quickly, both for men and women, of course, but here we are stressing more on women, right? And the breast starts getting loose. So everything, the organ is falling down. Right? And um, uh, it can also result in sexual numbness. Many women, um, I have seen very few women who are clear about uh, their sexuality. Most women, they don't want to talk about it. Right? They would say, I'm not interested. I, I don't need it. Or there is, uh, you know, there, there is something that they don't want to address. And of course, these are something deep. Or they will say, ah, we have gone numb. So sometimes the woman is entered in a wrong way or, you know, she has gone through some kind of trauma. And trust me, uh, friends, every woman, males also, I'm going to talk about males in some other session. Every woman, they have gone through some amount of sexual trauma in their life somewhere. So uh, they have relationship conflicts because of that. Because uh, somewhere there's an aversion to intimacy. You know, they don't like it. 
right? And many women, they would say, oh, men are always sexual and uh, they, um, they invade our space and we don't like it. No, there is a aversion, right? I'm not saying that many men are not like that. There, there are, right? But the question is, uh, how are we clear about it inside? That's what I'm trying to say here. So what is sexual energy? I always say this, this is a super psychic glue. It's a psychic glue. So wh whomever we attach the sexual energy with, we get glued to that person. So, you know, sometimes we can't forget our past relationships, ex-boyfriend, uh, girlfriend, because we have been in a sexual relation with them. So we are glued to them. We can't forget. It's like a, some kind of um, attachment has happened. Right? And it's an amplifier. Sexual energy is why it's important. It's an amplifier. Whatever you put into it, it will amplify. You put sadness, sadness will amplify. Happiness, happiness will amplify. You use it to enhance your creativity, creativity will amplify. And you use it to go into some destructive thing, destructivity will amplify. Right? And it's an energy that is always moving, friends. If it's stuck, it creates illness. And of course, very important. It's a creative energy. Where will we get our insights, our intuition? Where is it coming from? Even for a man, this is this energy when he's into his feminine, he can create, right? So, so uh, you know, this is something so beautiful, friends. The uterus of the woman is connected to the mother earth. Um, before any earthquake, before any uh, disaster, you would see all the animals in, the, in that place, they have left that place beforehand. Many times it has been noted. They will get the vibration from the Mother Earth because such deep connection they will know that uh, something is going to happen to this place. They will leave. Except humans. <laughs> humans are in their mind. <laughs> the no connection with the mother earth. Right? But um, many female, even today, you know, like I, I know many of my uh, friends and mentors who are so intuitive. Like, uh, I don't know how many of you have known the story of Dr. Newton, Dr. Lakshmi. Uh, once, you know, there was, um, uh, you know, they were sitting in a place near, I think, some Kerala or some south place. And, you know, Dr. Newton, Dr. Lakshmi was sitting and they were enjoying the breeze, the sea. And Dr. Lakshmi just said, now let's go and, you know, let's go somewhere else. And Dr. Newton said, why? You know, we are, we are enjoying this place. And he wanted to sit, but he listened. He always listened to the feminine. So he just got up with Dr. Lakshmi and they went away to some other place. And it said like in 10, 15 minutes, like that span, there was a huge tsunami that stuck that, uh, uh, you know, beach and washed away. In 10, 15 minutes, it happened. Right? So all men, <laughs> all men listening to this need to listen to your women, not mentally. You need to listen to her through your, with your heart. Right, and only a man can do that when the man is connected to his own feminine, and only the female female can guide when she is connected to her own uterus, to her own portal. And this egg exercise is very important, friend, because I'll I'll show you this uh, egg I have uh, placed here. Few, uh, these are the crystals. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. So ro rose quartz. They are different shapes, right? <clears throat> this is actually the yoni egg. And I'm sure you, many of us just love crystals, right? I, I love crystals because, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's an innate part of the mother earth and such a soothing feeling it has. Such, it's like so soothing just to hold a crystal, to be around a crystal, right? So this comes from mother earth. So it, it has a programming of the mother earth. And you, you can program your own crystals, by the way. You know, you can put your intention, put it on in the earth, you know, and program 
your crystal to heal yourself that, that you know that's a beautiful ceremony that you can do wash it with water put it on in the earth put some intention in your own crystals right to heal and this when you are uh, you know the women they uh, they, they I, I, you can't see but there is a hole here and uh, you are supposed to put a string so generally we use um, like dental floss because that's very safe to put it so we put the string and um, um, I'll, I'll show you with the bigger one. And this has to be inserted uh, in the, if this is the uterus, this is the uterus, uh, the, the vagina, it has to be inserted this way, okay? With the, with the string down, string down, okay? So the string is, so when this is placed inside the, uh, the vagina, actually the vagina can get a better grip like you have been doing the PC muscle exercise, but with this, you get a better grip. You feel, okay, now, you know, there is something that you can hold on to, right? So, and this is, this, this has a healing property, right? All, all the, uh, the you know, all the um, emotions, any kind of pain that we are holding unconsciously, would get released, the, the crystal will absorb, right? And then you can put the crystal away and again, you can uh, sterilize it, boil it for uh, 20, uh, 20, 30 minutes. You can boil the crystal, cool it down. Again, you can program. That's, that's the beauty of crystal, right? And you are, you are connecting to the raw mother earth energy. It's bringing that energy to you. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's a, it's a very beautiful practice because I'll tell you, this entire uh, vaginal canal is like a clock, friends. And um, um, I was learning about it, I think, many years back when I was, uh, you know, researching about this. And it said the woman vagina is like a clock. And every side of the vagina, it holds different emotions. Like one, two, three, four, you know, it holds different kind of emotion. And that's the reason sometimes women... It's not sometimes if a woman is close uh, to her heart, many times uh, in the intimacy or they, they get triggered. Sometimes the woman starts crying. If she's connected, she will start. Many, many women, they have stopped connecting. It is, a, it is an area not uh, <laughs> touched or they don't want to be there. You know, they are here. Even in the lovemaking, they are here. Because probably... Uh, you know, the, uh, the men does not, sometimes they don't know how to uh, enter a woman or it, 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 there are so many things. Or maybe she is holding some blocks. She is not open or she has been programmed to think that this is, you know, all these, all these things. And not only mentally, it, it is in the body. It is in the body. And uh, there's a term for this. It is called armoring yoni armoring the yoni has armored it is wearing armor like you see how the soldier wear an armor so the yoni have armored itself and it does not want to reveal it has gone numb right so for many women it is like a dark area and they they also use it very mechanically right so when these emotions can be dealt with, if so, this requires courage, friends. This requires courage. This requires practice. If any woman is courageous to look into these emotions, and uh, yeah, initially, you know, initially maybe it's a little problem, but if you you go on, go on deeper into this, know yourself more. What is it that is coming, right? Breathing into those emotions and coming because it's really deep, deep emotions down there, friends. It's not something in the mind. Something gets triggered there and they feel emotional. They want to cry, they want to shout, right? Sometimes it happens, but it can be dealt with a very nice way because <clears throat> that's the reason the yoni egg, because 
you have such a support you know it's very soothing it's very calming though there is a lot of things coming it has the capacity to absorb it crystals are used for absorption it has the capacity to absorb so it it will not you know let you go into that extreme right and if 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 you are aware i mean initially you can start with the exercise for like minimum one or two minutes they don't have to spend long time with these exercises and maybe you can do it uh, three to four times a week initially right not much long exercise but thing is uh, putting the awareness is important right and you will feel how this is absorbing these emotions right okay making sense friends everybody with me so far yeah is it boring is it <laughs> are you able to understand yeah okay i think everybody is uh, into it <laughs> yeah yeah thank you thank you for that thank you just just getting some feedback that i am there you know everybody is there with me great so so friends uterus is the place where the women holds her unconscious mind men sometimes they don't understand what has happened why is she like that uh, suddenly she has turned into something else right because something she has touched very deep so the man needs to listen to the woman with his heart uh, he he can't understand her. every man i mean most of the men they would say i don't understand women because we are trying to understand women with the mind you will never understand a woman with the mind right you need to understand the women with your heart then only so if you have the heart you will know okay something is there uh, that has been in her unconscious and the man can be uh, um holding the women in in those spaces the man can create spaces for this right and if you are single you are, you don't have a man who can hold your space for women you can do, because you can take the help of mother earth this is why this is is so beautiful i just love crystal you know i just uh i feel so nice having a crystal in my hand or around right i think everyone of us do that right and these are like light colors and very beautiful even to hold the energy is you know it's it's beautiful right so you can imagine that this area which is so delicate and um, uh, you know it can do uh, so much healing to that part yeah so uterus hold many unprocessed emotion something which i have uh, just few i have written regret guilt shame past experiences they are deeply like deeply deeply embedded in that right so um yes and uh, the next thing which i'm going to talk about is the pregnancy and post pregnant women who are uh, who have been mother or who are planning to get mother you know always giving birth is an orgasmic experience if not if not then the pelvic floor is affected every mother have to prepare the pelvic floor before pregnancy if you are not able to do it post pregnancy you need to take care of that because if it has not been an orgasmic experience for you then it has done some damage to the pelvic floor right and it can help you heal sexual trauma as i was saying you know even sexual trauma doesn't have to be like really sexual even some people touching wrongly looking at you wrongly all these are registered in the subconscious and where do do, do you register it in in the uterus it it starts shutting down right so friends the loose pelvic floor uh, muscle for men you can i've just give it some examples here like um Uh, how the erections are for men uh, if the pc so you can see the down the with the pc muscle training 
if you have a strong PC muscle, the erection is strong. And if not, the erection is not strong. So when a man is training his pelvic muscle, the pelvic floor muscle, he's actually training all the organs. All the organs are connected to that. It's very interesting. It's like shooting because you know that's like a, a energy generator, right? So, so these are the man pelvic floor training, you know, like weight training also is there. We are going to talk about all these in the men workshop. Now, how to train the uterus? Unlike men, it's all inside, right? So men can actually pull uh, their genitals or uh, their testicles. Everything is outside for men. So it, it's tangible. You can hold it and you can work through it. You can exercise it, right? But for women, it, everything is inside. And hence the yoni egg, right? The yoni egg helps to... Uh, you can uh, so what you, uh, can be done is for women it can be inserted so there are many kinds of exercise friends just to give you an example one of the exercises is to hold it in the vagina and you know the, the, the movement is something like this you know like <clears throat> for example let's say this 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 portion is the cervix this is the vagina okay this is the ent entry of the vagina so when the, the egg is going to be placed here initially, right? And you need to uh, know how to take the egg here and to, to the cervix and bring it down. And it's kind of like a twisted movement, you see? It's like a twist, like a twist. And many women, they don't have sensation inside the vagina. But the vagina wall is like a hand, you know? You can really hold right? So this is one of the exercise. And another exercise that, you know, uh, is like you, you attach a string here, right? And you pull the string. So it's a counter force. So the vagina or uh, if this is the vagina, I don't know if you can uh, see my hand. If this is a vagina, so you're pulling it, pulling it upward and through the string, you're pulling it down. So you're creating a counter force. So there are many exercises with it, friends, and uh, which you can do it according to your taste. So there are many colors that come. So one of the questions that I keep getting is, what color should I choose? So uh, many people say you can choose color according to what you like, according to the chakra that you want to work on. But for me, uh, whom, with whom I have learned, uh, uh, like with Master Chia, what he says is, you know, you don't have to look for colors and all. You go with some light colors because if you go going for very dark colors, maybe it won't be suiting you initially. So go for light colors like the rose quartz or something lighter, right? And uh, what size to choose? It depends. If you are a mother, you have if you have normal birth, then your size would be bigger. You will start with the biggest size, right? And if you ha have not been given birth, then uh, you can go with a small size, right? But if you don't know where to start, how to use, the best is to use the medium size. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, uh, texture, what kind? So, you know, there are, there are ones that are like really low quality, um, not very good. You know, their texture, if you hold them, you do, will feel they're not very nice. <clears throat> Go with the one that has uh, uh, like a nice tex texture, right? Actually, you know, my mentor says you can actually choose whatever stone you like, but it you just you just have to see, you know, it has a nice texture. Uh, quality, if it's good, then great, because there are ones that are very, very expensive also. You don't have to go for that. So a medium one, I think, would work. So... Friends, this is not a physical exercise. That's, that's what the training is about. If it's a physical exercise, then <clears throat> like, you know, I, I keep hearing that many shops, uh, beauty shops, they have started selling your knee eggs. So that's actually a very wrong thing to do, right? It is not, you can't just sell a yoni egg, right? And uh, it, is, uh, uh, it, it is giving something to people without information. See, you can do a lot of... Uh, uh, physical exercise, strengthening your uh, uh, PC muscle. That, that's good, pelvic floor strengthening muscle. But 
remember i told you it is an outer force it is not the inside force what really works is you need to ignite the energy you need to so it's not just like a physical exercise of pulling the egg so when you are pulling the egg you are also pulling the energy up into the crown so the cervix is a place the sensitive place and through the exercise you will see there there's a clearing here in your middle pathway and you're pulling the energy up the egg so so initially uh, and uh, friends many friends are asking do we need to use an egg initially initially it's okay you don't have to go and use an egg you you start just with the pelvic floor exercise right and uh, you know how to first pull the energy upward right so let now this is what is the work this is what is the teaching the essence of the teaching is single energy cultivation how you can rotate this energy in your own body can you imagine this beautiful life force energy rotating in your body you are going to be healthy you are going to be wealthy rich right such beautiful energy you you are you're tuned your aura is tuned the law of attraction what it says you if you have a smiling higher energy field everything you're going to attract your manifestation powers are going to increase you are going to be more creative intuitive can you imagine just all the time rotating this energy and if you are uh, you know consistent in using this yoni egg and if you are if you are consistent that's what my friend says who are using this for many years they say they 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 can feel the energy moving all the time and they you know it's 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 a choice oh i am in my mind oh i don't want to be here let me be with the energy circulation so you are getting more into the energy rather than going into the logical explanation of it right so this is single this is important that's the first step single cultivation right and then dual cultivation then you can if you have a partner whom with you want to share then you can cultivate this energy with that that is the teaching that is the learning to pull the energy up to open the microcosmic many people so much different point they have pains right and energy gets stuck the energy doesn't moves up right how to open the it helps you to open the microcosmic orbit the, you keep keep practicing keep practicing and once you feel oh now the energy starts shooting up into the head right once you know okay it has shot up now you bring it down right so initially it's a little like uh, uh, you know we are not sure what to do but practice friends with practice we can do it okay so um <clears throat> yeah so this is another example of the dual cultivation it says that a uh, head of the penis gland and the cervix of the woman they are connected to the heart so when the they are meeting it's a meeting of the heart heart to heart meeting right that what happens in uh, in a deep intimate moment it's the meeting of the heart through the organs so female orgasms uh, there are many kinds of orgasm i have listed five uh and all men also need to know it men need to know how to open a woman how to open the gates so men need to have the training for that <laughs> right so first is the clitoral orgasm second is g spot orgasm third is cervical orgasm fourth is brain it is i i wrote it wrong it's brain it's not brain brain orgasm and then fifth is full body orgasm so it's a step by step by step by step and women need to learn first before a man man is okay you know he's learning because he wants to get, uh, have a woman in the life he want to uh, treat like a queen trust me friends these um things they they the, it was available for the queens and the concubines for the princes these information were there because the, uh, the, the queens were uh, you know they they need to be in good health right and she's somebody is the queen of the nation they have to have the best right and they want to also give pleasure to the king 
and king also have to um, be a master of this because he has to go and fight a war he has to take care of so many things he can't um, waste his energy so the king queen they they have they needed this and also to the monks they used to teach this because some monks they have too much sexual energy even female monks or male monks they don't know how to regulate or their sexual energy is blocked these were taught in monastery and these are secret <laughs> they they were not out for open people now in this uh, yuga it's everything is available for us of course we need to choose the right information lot of information overload we have to choose the right one friends okay so multiple orgasm for uh, it's it's like you know it it is going from one end to the second to the third and you know keep going higher because women are multi orgasmic by nature many women they have forgotten uh, multi orgasm uh, forget multi orgasm they don't get one orgasm also right so there is a step by step process how to open her it's like a flower how to uh, open a flower you can't just uh, uh, grab a flower and open it it will tear you will destroy the flower right but gently and uh, there is a process step by step process how to do that right so you need to learn about that okay so um, we are coming to the end part of this uh, and we'll do a quick little practice um for all men and women because uh, this is being joined by the men and women both uh, so the practice we will do is we'll all close our eyes right now take a deep breath and <clears throat> connect to the mother earth let us do this imagine your feet your your lower body especially uh below your heart you know your trunk imagine your trunk is like a tree and you're going huge roots you know, from your solar plexus your sacral chakra your root chakra you're growing huge huge roots going deep inside the mother earth and feel like your body is being pulled down you're feeling a the gravitational force is getting pulled down by the mother earth right we are all you know there is a pulling force and mother earth is always reminding that i am there because we are stuck she she's like a magnet you know like a magnet and the uh, attached to another magnet we are we are we are attached to the mother earth otherwise we have just been flying in the space otherwise right but she is pulling us she is hugging us all the time so feel this deep roots like a tree and just bring this beautiful sensation whatever it means for you as as mother earth like it's the cooling sensation of a rock uh, or you know it's the mud the uh, the wet mud or anything anything that you resonate with like or the mist you know it's also very feminine energy it is there around us whatever you want to connect of flowers or the grass or the mountains or the water water yes water element whatever you want to connect feel this you are breathing this beautiful mother energy whenever we are imagining this we are connecting to this imagine you are surrounded with that element that you love and breathe in this element into your lower body and release release all the tension feel feel this you know tightness this tension that we have most of the time you know we would have this tension there the stiffness you know the stomach is not very soft the lower part is not soft it's like stiff so breathe in deep this element into your lower body and then just breathe out breathe in and especially women feel feel your womb men can keep breathing into 
their genitals and women feel your breathing into your womb through your vagina into the womb picturize it maybe we have never picturized these organs you have it in you right it is there so fill it with this refreshing energy of the mother earth and imagine you are emptying 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 the womb and feeling so relaxed few more breaths friends into the womb and all the tension the stress that you are holding in the womb releasing feel that you are breathe, your womb is breathing men you can feel that you are you are breathing through your genitals breathe breathe into the womb and release release the extra tension from your lower body right feel this beautiful connection to the mother earth feel happy feel healthy feel that you are full of life force and slowly come back with a smile slowly come back with a smile okay wonderful so thank you for staying with me till this point and um, uh, after this i have an opportunity if i have your permission i will share an opportunity that we are coming up with and um, after i share this opportunity we'll go into the question answer round right so do i have your permission yeah yeah thank you thank you for that so friends um up till here what you have listened is about the practice but there there is a training behind this practice because as i said it's just not a physical exercise so always when you are using a yoni egg it's good to get the training first before you are using it right so in this line i i was talking to people and uh, i thought there are many people who are interested in learning this right so this is what i'm coming with it's called the uh, bliss yoni egg workshop it is a two days exclusive weekend of uh, workshop for women uh, 19 and 20th november so it's saturday and sunday 11 am to 5 pm right so this is like uh, uh, i would say like a four five hours workshop we have a break of uh, lunch break also in between okay so so the syllabus is uh, you would be learning step by step method to use the yoni egg to strengthen and energize the pelvic floor okay and uh, you will be opening your microcosmic that's very important you know that's the, that's the intention of doing this opening the microcosmic orbit so that you start moving the orbit and you will be healing deeper unconscious emotions different levels of orgasm uh, you will learn about and how to become multi orgasmic right and single and dual cultivation how to do that you learn that you yeah, know that that's that's the syllabus right and what is the take away uh, the take away is you are going to get lifetime recordings and you are going to get a uh, you know we are going to do classes so there would be weekly classes where you are going to get the right support this is the bonus one and another is you are going to get a one on one personalized call with me so sometimes you know what happens after starting to use the yoni egg there you know there are some things that comes up you know sometimes you don't know how to do it or uh, you know you you need you are going through some emotion you need to talk to someone right so you have that this follow up sessions would be there and it would be there for uh, you know like one year you would be uh, getting the training because more you use it the more things are going to come up right so this course is de uh, designed in a way to support you 
yeah it's not like just a course and you do and there's no nothing after that so you will get the practice okay and of course we have the direct whatsapp uh, private community uh, where we can connect anytime right so uh, these are uh, workshops which when i have i have been uh, doing and it, it is pretty expensive it is like 90000 uh, i think more than that because the kind of benefit it has i think it, it it is like priceless i would say right but this i have uh, uh, given given a price of rupees 8999 which includes this two days and this weekly classes and personal sessions this entire cost is 8999 right um but we have also uh, something called like a early bird offer which is rupees 7999 which is valid till yeah i just have to move a little back and forth 15th of november right it is valid till 15th of november uh, it is rupees 7999 right but um, still further because you are here today and that's the reason i said i'm going to declare something in the session which uh, you know for for the internal group who are really really interested for them i have kept something more interesting uh, which you are seeing so the price for people who are going to register today is 6999 so you are paying like 2000 less than what others would be paying right so it includes gst and uh, as i said you have this uh, option for uh, <clears throat> like a weekly class one personal session lifetime recording right but this offer is going to uh, end today night you know so i am going to just pop up in the window about uh, the entire course so you will get the entire course and you will have a special link to pay for this uh, which i'll be activating uh, deactivating at 12 today midnight so it won't be there tomorrow okay so otherwise uh, if you don't apply today the the early bird then you will be applicable to pay the early bird offer which is 7999 and it's valid till 15th november so i'm doing it because uh, uh, you know i i i value uh, your your time and being with me here especially today and that's the reason uh, I, I have done this special offer for people who are action takers right now um uh, let me just send you the links i'm going to um, send the links Yeah, I'm going to, uh, I, I know there are so many question answers here. I'm going to reply to everyone. Uh, just uh, let me pop this in the window about the course. You can just uh, go to my website and the website has the entire course. So you can look what you'll be learning. The entire syllabus is there, right? And I have also sent you the special link for the payment. So you can take your time, uh, another a few minutes and if you do want to decide if you, you need to decide today okay now this is the question uh, answer uh, time and um, i would be taking questions now cost of the eggs please okay now uh, i i'm not selling like eggs but i do have a few eggs which i have bought for the workshop so uh, i have like limited eggs for people who are uh, doing the workshop with me Right. So that's how I have few. I don't know if I'll have spare ones. Um, now, uh, the cost is uh, I am not sure in India. I don't know any place where they are selling this eggs. Uh, you can buy it online. Right. And as I said, uh, you need to be careful in seeing what texture you are buying. You know, sometimes it's like really bad. Sometimes the size don't fit at all. So all these things take care of that online. Uh, if I have a spare, uh, then I will be. Uh, I'll be I'll be trying to assist you with that, right? So thank you, Deepa. And anything else? Any? Uh, I'm going to now give uh, the you know option to for for you to ask question if you want, or you can also pop in the chat. Uh, you can um, give uh, any questions that you know you want to throw any questions. I can answer that, right? You can do it in the personal window also. Okay, so one of the question is, uh, Aditya, do women really use yoni eggs in India? <laughs> yeah, so that's a very nice question. Uh, see, what I can say is, I know people who are who are using it, uh, and uh, I have uh, have firsthand experience, as I told you. Uh, I don't want to share anything which I don't have firsthand experience. Until I get a firsthand experience, I don't want to share it. 
right? So I do have a first-hand experience and um, people say it is safe and uh, they have benefited a lot, uh, right? And, uh, you know, if, if you have a lot of, uh, you know, mental things of not using an egg or something, it, it's okay, you know, you can also learn these practices and you can be, do these practices. They are also good enough. Uh, Abhishek Ji is saying, when will be the main session? A main session is, sir, uh, as I said, the dates I have given, right? Uh, let me announce the dates again. It's uh, uh, 19th and 20th November, sir. 19th and 20th November. It, uh, it is a Saturday and Sunday, sir. Right? Yes, that's the main session. Anything else, friends? Aditya, can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for this uh, amazing esoteric wisdom that you share uh, in such a safe and uh, comfortable. Uh, I would say I am sure all the women would have felt very peaceful with the energy that I can sense here as a, uh, as a uh, uh, member of this space. Uh, my questions are twofold. One, uh, uh, one I had already put in the chat box that where is, as compared to women, the emotions are stored. If for women it's in the uterus, what about men? Where do they store their emotions which are unresolved? Number one. Number two question is, do we, uh, uh, will we also have a men's specific session or a workshop? Uh, because some of us are already your inner group members. So we don't know if that is a possibility. The third, uh, you showed a photograph about a polyorgasmic uh, graph. Uh, may I uh, request you that if you can share the name of the book or if there's a PDF or something, it may be helpful to delve deeper into it because I am really uh, inclined, despite my honest confession that I had not been able to do very regularly the activities, but I have gradually inching in this direction. So I need to uh, seek your guidance for the same. Thank you. Yeah, sure. So great questions, uh, Gaurav. Thank you. You always bring a question that um, I have to think for a little and then answer. Okay. So the first question is, where do men store emotion? Um, uh, you, know, you know, there are various answers, but one of the answers uh, one of my uh, colleague has given that men also have a hidden womb, you know, because he's also a creative person. So men also have a hidden womb. And the most uh, uh, closest organ to that hidden womb is the prostate for the men. Okay, so uh, many men they are not aware of the prostate at all, and uh, uh, they don't think this is one of the sexual organ uh, to be treated or to be uh, taken care something like that. But uh, it's very important for men uh, to do the prostate exercise. So yes, this, I come to the second question about having a men's workshop. I know um, I have been getting multiple requests for the sexual Kung Fu workshop, uh, but I don't know, I intuitively felt that I'm going to do a Yoni uh, workshop for women uh, before I do it for men. So of course, uh, if I, I'm doing it for women, I would be uh, you know, um, inclined to do the next workshop for men which probably will take uh, maybe uh, December end or maybe somewhere in the January, right? Uh, just a request for that because we have some uh, 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 of us will be going to some of the workshops and retreats in uh, uh, December 1st uh, half during uh, SCTP and all. Right, right, yeah. Request so maybe it would this. be December end or January 1st. Yes. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah. That would be yeah. great. Even I won't be here in the December uh, first week. I, so it would be somewhere later. Okay. The third question, sir. Yeah, third is uh, you asked about the graph, right? The graph. Yeah. So the graph is actually I have um, uh, stolen from uh, Master Mantak Chia's <laughs> workshop. Uh, right. uh, yes. And he, he shows this graph, you know, most of the things that uh, I, I uh, many of the things that I have shown you is uh, from uh, his uh, workshop. And uh, he talks about, uh, you know, how to train these. And it's very interesting, you know, for men also, for women also, because, uh, you know, it's an adult area. When I was uh, studying about it, it is like uh, so beautiful. And uh, women need to learn that, that, oh, there are so many, uh, places, spots in her. And it, it's like something very, very uh, interesting and uh, uh, big. 
So uh, yeah, uh, that, that's no problem, Gaurav. I can share that with you to answer your question in short. I will do that. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, Aditi has a question for those who were late for today's session. Will the session happen again or the recording shared? No recording shared. I'm sorry. So that's why I think we were posting that no recording. I do this for one reason, you know, um, uh, people I see when they attend my webinar uh, and, uh, you know, they take a call to do my workshop. I feel they are uh, very, um, uh, uh, I, I would say they are ready for it and they are really serious. <laughs> right so that's the reason i don't uh, give recordings and i suggest people to join uh, the workshop but i will see you know i will i will see because uh, so many requests are coming like i have like these many whatsapp messages because so many registrations were there and people couldn't join because of that and this and many other reasons uh, so um, I, I i will see what's the best we can do uh, can you share the multi-orgasmic uh, slide again? Uh, you mean the women multi-orgasm? Vidhi, are you asking about the women multi-orgasm? Okay. Yeah, so uh, the, the you, you mean the graph. I think you want to see the graph, okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to do that, yeah. Okay, here's the graph. I think um, you can get this. And um, in, in, in the workshop, we, we go through this step-by-step step to understand how and where and how to cultivate it. For men, it's a different uh, training. For women, it's a different training to know her body and to open up. Right, so this is the graph for multi-orgasm for women. Okay, wonderful. So a uh, few more questions is, um, is this, uh, is there any scientific evidence? Okay, now, um, yeah, so people have been asking, is it safe? Is it, has it, uh, does it have uh, it any scientific evidence? Does doctor approve it, right? So uh, you, you know the, PC muscle exercise, which is also very commonly called as the Kegel exercise, right? Though here uh, with the Taoist wisdom, they don't want to use the word Kegel because we are not doing Kegel. You know that we are not doing Kegel. We are doing the physical exercise to bring the energy upward. So always the Taoist work is like that. You work on the energy. You feel the energy. You are inside. You are working inside, right? So For the Kegel exercise, of course, there are many uh, uh, you know case studies and documented documentation that have been done, right? And it is very good for urinary health. It is uh, pelvic uh, prolapse and other sexual dysfunction, right? The um, Kegel exercise is recorded in the you know like even doctors they suggest it, right? Now this exercise is a little deeper part the, because the Kegel is you are squeezing the PC muscle. When you put an egg, you feel it more. That's the point. You know, you can, you, you have something to hold and you feel it more. Right? So uh, I, I can't say that there is a, a direct um, uh, thing of yoni egg with that because, you know, many, uh, I, I, if you ask a holistic doctor, I think he, he will understand. But uh, if he's not very holistic, I don't know what his answer would be. Right, but uh, uh, as far as I know, it is very very safe, and uh, there has been a lot of myths. You can on the internet they, they talk a lot of things. I don't think that's that's true, right? Um, I can say it's a very uh, gentle thing that anybody can uh, think of, and you can boil it for 20, 30 minutes to make it completely, uh, uh, you know, free of any germs, and you wash your hands and you use it in a proper way, I, I don't think there can be anything uh, bad happening uh, using an egg, uni egg. Right? So that's my answer. Okay, people, uh, you want, uh, somebody's asking. Aditya, can I speak? Again. Yeah, I just want to post the link again. Somebody was asking. So there's the link again. Yeah. Yeah, Gaurav. Uh, okay, yeah. Abhishek ji. Yes, yes, please. Please, there are a lot of mental blocks actually. Someone who has was in process of having a child, but it miscarried and 
then there are a lot of mental blockages that happen. Because if you're again going through a treat, then there are a lot of causes. There's a lot of progesterone injections, a lot of things. Means this, you understand those things I want to say. So the emotion that to have a child, being a child life, the, the mother has to go through a lot of pain. Yeah. And yeah. it's not it is not possible for a man to understand the pain. Oh. Men can always give an external relief or outside you can just calm up. But the internal bliss that a, a woman has to have from inside is always means I always say the self peace is very important. It is very easy to say, but to go through that pain internally when a woman is feeling how to help them, how to yeah, so self-mastery, right? Women also yeah. need to master. So, Kegel, uh, you know, this yoni egg, it is uh, making the woman a master first. So, she becomes a master of her emotion. She becomes a master of her energy. She can rotate the energy and uh, her, her uh, lower, lower body starts loosening. It starts uh, becoming softer. And then the birthing experience can be an orgasmic experience, right? Now, I know it is, uh, as uh, you are very correct in saying it is easier said than done, right? And uh, in this... Uh, a lot of chaos that we all are in, but that, that's all uh, we are learning through these holistic learning. Let's get back to nature. Let's get back to things that are uh, more easier. Like why to take uh, 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 hormone injections when you can exercise this and you can automatically improve the hormones, right? So uh, it requires discipline. People, uh, they want quickies, you know, they want uh, everything like um, made uh, uh, and given to them. That, that is the problem. But oh, there's no escape. Not men, nor, nor, nor women. Everyone needs to be a master. Yeah. Men needs to be master. Uh, women need to be master. Women can uh, 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 use these tools. Men have different tools. I will also show the men tool. Um, so, uh, you know, this is like a, like a silk cloth. And I will be showing this again in the men workshop later. So this is like a weight, right? You can, you can, you can put weights. And uh, the silk cloth can be tied, uh, you know, to the penis. There's a way to tie it to the penis. And then you, you can keggle with that. You know? So you can lift the weight, right? So it's not much weight. And uh, also women can do that. You know, the, uh, you, women can also fix the yoni egg uh, in, into some kind of weight. If you don't have this kind of weight, you can just um, take a water bottle. Many people take a water bottle, put some water or, or more. You don't have to do that. Also, this egg sometimes come with a cute bag, right? So you just put something in the bag to make it a little heavy and you start with that. So just a little weight. You don't have need these kind of weights or, uh, you know, this is just to show, you know, um, one of my possession, you know, I wanted to possess one of them. <laughs> so, and to show also, so you don't need all that thing but uh, uh, men can work out even they, they just need a, like a silk cloth because it's better to tie uh, your, your glands with a silk cloth you know you don't get much hurt and for women uh, uh, egg is uh, the thing otherwise because all everything is inside so they, they need an egg to exercise if, if they want anything physically tangible Initially, they can start with uh, all the physical, they learn. Even uh, one more thing is in, in the session, in, in the two days workshop, there is nothing that you have to use an egg. There's no user, usage of the egg. I will tell you how to use it. You can do it in your own privacy, right? And nobody would be uh, questioned to answer anything if, you're, if you don't feel moved to answer anything. Nothing of that sort is going to happen in the two days workshop, especially for women. I wanted to make it clear, right? So um, it is in your private place in in your uh, privacy in your intimate way you can go through this workshop as you wish okay uh, i have some question gaurav there's a, it's a big one <laughs> can you just uh, shorten this for me and uh, maybe i'll just come back to you and neha has a question if we join the session will you be sharing the link from where we can buy the yoni egg. We can buy directly from you. Please reply. Yes, uh, if you are joining the workshop, I'll have a, I'll possibly have an egg for you, um, uh, Nehaji, because I need to first uh, give the eggs. Uh, you know, there's a lot of demand, and you know, these I got few from Thailand, and I was uh, caught in the customs. They don't allow you to bring uh, <laughs> crystals from uh, you know other countries, so there is some limitations there. 
so it, that there had some i couldn't bring a lot uh, but i have few and um, of course you know if you are in the workshop um, hopefully you'll get one okay. uh, can i uh, can i ask is one more thing yeah yeah sure yeah actually i'm very much aware about mantak chia and i've yeah. read his book also about the sioni egg and everything so i'm pretty excited to uh, to go and enroll for this course also so basically i want to uh, understand one thing in this course uh, basically you will be teaching entirely about this sexual energy and how to heal the main my concept is that during this maybe uh, we uh, many of the women are virgin who are enrolling and uh, they are having some previous life patterns or some kind of wound they are have in taken from their mother itself so you will be going to that depth also that how they can heal that also with hopopono and all everything or it's all about mantak chia on me yeah so uh, neha ji what you have asked is uh, you know th these are sometimes like very deep wounds and it requires a one on one hmm. uh, attention to the person it yes, cannot yes, be done in a group right. setting right so uh, uh, in this workshop especially whatever hmm. i have learned uh, from my mentor mantak chia now i am also a uht uh, instructor certified by them right whatever hmm. i know i have learned from them and uh, there's a, there's many other beautiful instructors in this you know who are uh, doing these kind of of work so i would be sharing that only right but uh, okay. in the session now if uh, that's the reason you know that that's the follow up i give right in the follow up session if there is some person having a particular issues because even to open up sometimes people forget about these things it's not easy what you are saying is very very deep they don't yes, uh, sometimes exactly. want to open up and uh, many people are not ready or you know they don't want to touch it so it's very sensitive there so that's the reason i have kept the one on one and even the later group practices would be there so that you you just you don't do something and you forget about it we would be going through it every week you know we have these practices we have this course life force management we have these practices we go through it so we will one more thing like i am i am having a amethyst crystal like yoni egg type but it doesn't have a hole you know when i purchased it but as you know that crystal holds a lot of extraction power is it possible that we can place not directly inserting but we can place with the intention that it can it extract from that uh, uh, organs and the chakra can i use See, that way uh, or presently in between right now till the course yes. is not happening so neha ji i am not an expert with crystals to be very honest but uh, okay. what i have learned from my mentor is that yes. uh, you need to start with something very simple and soothing amethyst okay. doesn't sounds very <laughs> easy stone for me okay so that's okay. the reason something like a rose quartz or something you know more whitish in color and soothing mm -hmm. and calming these are the okay. ones you know women can easily resonate because it's heart color you know it will connect to your heart directly so uh, my mentor what i have learned is use something which is very easy initially because sometimes people use jade eggs you know those things and so many emotions and you know stuff like that and you can't hold so it can be overwhelming we don't want that okay so after enrolling it like uh... We, uh, the, uh, your whatsapp number will be shared so that ki i can order directly through you i would be accessible all the time don't worry we have these okay. uh, very, uh, streamlined okay. system uh, you okay. have a whatsapp group we have a online a platform where we can connect okay. we have emails so mm -hmm. we will be there connected thank you for this piece of information yeah. thank you all right anything else any other questions no question adi uh, just an insight which came when we were doing the exercise and uh, breathing into the womb through the vagina and i i felt like ki i'm matlab i felt ki koi bhi emotion ruk nahi raha hai andar matlab i just took the uh, breath inside and it's going free flowing so then i question what is it kya andar koi emotion nahi hai deal karne ke liye what is happening so it was like ki it was extreme kyunki i was just ki dekhna hi nahi hai let it flow whatever don't want to face it like so that was the insight then i realized ki okay extremes of everything is bad holding on too tight is bad and totally leaving it ki ja raha hai okay matlab who is bothered 
gates are open bother no no <laughs> bother at all so i mean that was quite enlightening for me at that point of time and i this is what i felt so yeah and obviously you already know i've already told you i'm going to register for the workshop and so thank welcome, you welcome welcome wonderful so, neha ji welcome madhulika welcome and there are some other uh, who have registered so uh, and it's uh, very confidential and we want to take care of confidentiality as the first thing when we are doing this work so uh, not everybody would like to open up uh, and i i remember you know doing one of the workshops where two days and this woman never came on the camera never said anything and you know all the participants were so caring they held the space they never questioned her and she went through the two days workshops like that so if you are one of them you can uh, definitely you know choose choose where you want to be you want to communicate you don't want to do that absolutely fine nobody would be uh, but yes there are um, some seniors here I'm, and i'm going to catch them to share <laughs> their experiences because it's also important for other people to learn right okay so gorov wrote uh, under proper guidance and intention of the healing i'm sure a lot of a uh, lot is outside the space of present state of western scientific body rather it's practice for the ages and ancient communities i'm sure we can experience uh, for our own self by having first hand experience and see if it benefits from it uh, my two cents my two cents okay <laughs> okay okay uh so i simply uh, wanted to uh, emphasize that uh, the science as we know today in the western world is barely let's say 500 years or so but these ancient modalities are uh, they have not yet come into the practice of scientific purview only needs to talk about their authenticity if we look at the wikipedia and all many such modalities have been labeled under as pseudo science but for everybody's awareness because uh, like dr newton sir always tells a true believer is a good skeptic you must be skeptical and healthy uh, healthy skepticism is valid so uh, it should not be a eyewash or hogwash for that matter yes and i think all these practices are eventually having a scientific basis if you look at even the emotional freedom technique which has to do with acupuncture or acupressure points is now being medically validated so i am sure these energy systems which taoism speaks about is very valid the whole idea is that we have to get out of the head and intentionally uh, connect to ourselves which is where these energy ticks and the sense of being an energy being rather than a physical being becomes uh, manifest and we can palpably visually feel it only once we have that first hand experience that we can say that it's real we can't answer this question with the logic with the head we have to feel it for ourselves so that was my two cent means my suggestion for our open minded uh, approach for that my humble submission thank you thank you gora for you know um pitching in and you know really affirming this for all of us very well said uh, we can test it there is no harm uh yes. in becoming a little skeptic and in curious you know i would say yes. curious and doing that abhishek gupta only women workshop um uh, any men they can also join you know uh, i i went for a yoni yag workshop right so i i did that and uh, men are also welcome uh, to sometimes you know uh, wives are not open and uh, girlfriends are not open but the men can help yes and uh, this is uh, like uh, a very deep understanding of the women that you would be interacting with uh, her anatomy her her arousals her emotions and how to assist her um, you know the men can definitely do that so uh, i remember i was there and uh, we were two men in the yoni workshop <laughs> doing this and i was i was it was really very uh, and lighting for me uh, and uh, very important i mean i you know just uh, like uh, not only for your partner when I, mean, i came back my my uh, my mother said you know she she is now i think she is around 62 uh, 
and my mom she is going through this uh, uh, urinary leakage problem and uh, i taught her these exercises and she said yeah i feel better i mean isn't that amazing i i, I told my sister about it i told my mother about it and we can uh, you know take this further and that's what we require we want more men and more women to so there is what you know adi adi there is what what my father expired in last summer and my mom is like 60 years but they are very much close to each other and when now dad is not there she is staying and she is having a lot of so we could understand to that connect that she had now with and these are, there are two different facets actually so yes. understanding your wife understanding your mom you get you men become sandwich yes that, because after that uh means emotional sandwichness you know, understand that when the block <laughs> is happening and that is very much means yeah and you there are demands in different ways the time the this you need to understand their problems their mindset that, that, what that is brings, that that brings that that brings out uh, brings out the femininity in men so that he looks into oh okay this is a feminine zone and you can understand only solve that when you are in your feminine zone like you you are you are understanding that right yeah, and yeah. and as a man also that awareness not to get flown away with that you know in, in in emotions and all that you know and to okay bring myself like the the shiva energy like to be balanced and uh, okay i can listen but i don't have to be uh, completely carried away. yes carried away that's it in, means you away. cannot you cannot see what, what i say i cannot i cannot be both i cannot i have to be exactly both, that, that's understand. the reason you are using the word sandwich right otherwise you are a sandwich <laughs> but you can uh, you can be you know uh, from another perspective also and so and uh, when you are in that energy this will not bother when you are in that energy it will not bother uh, and you will find a way i'm sure okay thank you thank you so much <laughs> more discussions will be there i think <laughs> yeah practice practice is the answer right so okay friends so uh, let's practice let's strengthen the pelvic floor muscle let's uh, uh, delve into the more feminine energy as men let's help the women uh, with their feminine energy let us listen to them with our hearts and for women all women are masters uh, all the women um you know we need you we need the earth needs you the uh, you know you are required to as as a guide as leaders everywhere you are required and um, as men uh, you know from behalf of all men we want to honor you and we want to say that you are you are important uh, in our lives right all women uh, are so so much they uh, are holding for all of us so and um, also men are important in their way and uh, men feel more empowered when they are empowering women that's what i feel tathastu 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 yes god of exactly right so thank you so much for attending this session and uh, um uh, we will be ending the session now and uh, i hope to see you all uh, in the workshop uh, take a take a step and uh, it's like a like a really beautiful thing to learn and i'm telling you it is so mesmerizing for me i mean i can keep talking but you need to practice this workshop is more of practice yeah so less words more practice we'll do that okay so thank you again and uh, have a wonderful wonderful uh, evening bye bye thank you